If you want to support this channel, the best way to do that is to like, comment and subscribe. It helps my channel a lot and it gets the videos out there. Thank you very much. So from all the promotional material that we've actually gotten thus far um, for the new Dragon Ball Super arc that we are currently seeing in the anime, there's been strong suggestions that Heat or Hito is actually going to end up being the main big bad guy or the strongest character from Universe 6. Now we don't know how he's essentially going to end up being a bad guy and this is what we're here to discuss. We're, gonna he we're here to discuss what his, what his motives are, what he's going to end up doing. He doesn't look like a good guy to you, does, does he? He doesn't look like a good guy to me either. He looks like... I kind of feel like he's one strong bad guy from that universe. Now of course the Saiyans in that universe are actually hunting bad guys, but he might have ended up being on the team just because of his sheer strength. So who knows man, like I have no idea. He People have been saying that this guy's a Saiyan from, I mean that this guy's a Namekian from that universe, but I just don't see it. I don't see why an, a Namekian would look exactly like that. If anything, he kind of resembles Frieza's race, you know, he resembles Frieza's true form. He actually does. If you look at those lines running down his face, he does resemble Frieza. But, like I said, his name uh, comes from the English word hit, and in his character's design notes, it also says that his name suggests danger. So everything with this guy has to do with danger, um, and he's on this one promotional thing where we have, we actually see, we see Goku and then we see Hit behind him. So everything comes down to, I feel like outside of the tournament, Goku and uh, Hit are going to have a square off or something like that. Mainly because, if you, you, we already know how the tournament started off, right? The tournament started off with Goku versus Batama. Now it would be pretty unfair. It would be pretty unfair if um, Goku ends up knocking out <laughs> every single opponent and then ends up facing Hit, and Hit is the last person he faces, but Goku is worn out at that point. So, to me, I, I'm not sure if these rules in the tournament allow tagging in, tagging out, as such. It would be pretty cool, um, but we don't know. So, I feel like Goku is either going to end up, you know, fighting... Batamo is going to beat Batamo and then he's either going to face Hit and beat him or he's going to face Batamo, face whoever comes up and then he's going to lose and then, you know, go, uh, Piccolo is going to go in and then Vegeta is going to go in after and then we're going to find out the results of the tournament and then after that, um, Hit is going to end up uh, taking the wish from the Super Dragon Balls, like Shampa's about to say it because, you know, blah blah blah, if the Universe 6 uh, team actually ends up winning, you know, Shampa gets the wish, but then Hit jumps in and he says his wish, and essentially, you know, he causes some sort of, I guess, dimensional distortion. That, that <clears throat> that's the main thing that I can see happening, because Toriyama actually incorporated a whole uh, 12 universes thing for a reason. Now, obviously, we haven't seen any universes outside of our own universe in Universe 6. However, I feel like Hit is there uh, to be the main protagonist of this whole thing. Like, it's not going to be Shampa, it's not going to be Beerus, because they're hilarious characters. Um, they they go against each other. But Hit, Hit, Hit actually ends up... He, he looks evil, and... I feel like he's gonna end up being a mad guy. He might he might wish for more power. He might wish for immortality like Frieza did. He might wish for chaos. He might wish <laughs> he might wish for all the universes to collide. And who knows, man? Like all I know is that Hit is gonna end up being the main uh, bad guy antagonist, not protagonist. That's what I meant. Antagonist. He's gonna be the main bad guy of this arc. And, to be honest, I'm really damn excited to see him fight. I'm really excited to see how strong he is, because um, he's an unknown race. And, so far, we've only seen Saiyans and uh, Frieza's race to be some of the strongest beings in the universe, apart from the gods themselves. So, it's going to be an interesting matchup. Now, I don't know um, what's going to happen here, but I would like to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments section below. And, I'm pretty sure... 
as of making this video, I've actually, we have managed to hit 25,000 subscribers. And I'm really thankful for that. Thank you so much for all of your support. It's amazing because um, I've only started this channel around this time last year. So in a year, I managed to gain 25,000 people, 25,000 fans. I, mean, I, don't, I don't like saying fans. Probably, I, I, I would like to say friends. I've gained 25,000 friends, people who support me, who motivate me, who support my videos, and I just really appreciate that. So thank you so much for everything, you guys. Leave a comment, subscribe if you're new, you know, share this video with your friends. It helps me out greatly, and I'll see you guys in the next discussion video. Bye, guys. Have an epic day.